Welcome to this Stateless Code cast. This is episode number 16 in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So in our previous episode, we set ourselves up for the use of the active support concern. We've got uh, in our test-driven development uh, framework, we've gotten the red failing test, the green passing test, and now we want to go in and refactor the code that we've got because it is duplicated. So if we go into article and comment here, we can see that we've got valid essentially lines four through 10 here and lines seven through 13 here are completely um, duplicated um, character for character. So the um, the way that you can go about doing this is using um, modules that you include in both of them and then um, noting here so things like the um, the class methods for um, the validations and stuff like that you can extend the active support concern API here and get things like your um, your status inclusion and uh, going a little bit further uh, class methods into um, your model that includes this concern. So we'll get started by um, adding in the visible.rb concern here in models concerns. So we've got visible, we will go in and set it up so that and we'll make it a double quote to match what we had in terms of styling and for consistent purposes of consistency. So right now we've got this module visible, it's only got the archived instance method here and we haven't included it in anywhere so our um, our tests should still be passing because we haven't actually implemented this yet on the comment or the article so we'll go in now and try to get rid of the archived method on both of these this will take us back to failing tests. So we've got six errors now. So undefined method or failing all over the place. Uh, we'll now go in and include this visible module back into our article in our comment models. So we've got that back. We should be back to passing now. And we are, but this is just the first step of what we can do in terms of refactoring here. So we'll go now and um, we're going to make this uh, module visible. It's going to extend the active support concern. So if we go in, there's uh, information about the um, how active support concern looks there. You can uh, read through that, but uh, we're gonna go through it in the, uh, with, with what the guide has here. So we're going to extend active support concern in this visible module, save it. This isn't gonna really change anything in terms of passing and failing. But now we have the ability to have that included block that we add in. So we'll add in our valid statuses and then our validates in the included block. I'm going to use the, um, the shorthand version of the 
valid statuses. Take that out of each of these. You can see the constant will now be included in the models we're still passing. We'll go in now and take that validate status and put it in that included block. I'm gonna do it first without it to show that it doesn't work. So go in. do it like that we can see we've got uh, errors undefined method validates for visible so go in and use the included block here to make this work Try this again, and we're back to passing. So we have now taken, so we can see this is much uh, less verbose in the comment model and the article model. So we have in the comment model just the belongs to association with the article, and then all of that um, logic and functionality related to the status is now in that visible concern that we've included. And the same thing for article, you include visible and then we just have the association and then our existing validations about uh, title and body. So we'll go in now and take a look at the, um, so we've gone and done this um, and this matches what we've got there. We can also do um, class methods, which we're going to um, to do with the um, with each of these models. We'll go in and um, write some failing tests for this, since it's new functionality, and um, then we'll we'll go in and um, modify the the view to use it as well. So we'll go in. We'll write our failing test in both the article test and the comment test. So our article, I believe we've got one so I'll, I'll pause and write the methods and then we'll look at later on in this episode refactoring some of our test um, information into um, into this so I'll pause so we've got our uh, public count items and I did this just by counting the fixtures well um, look at making this a little bit more robust afterwards, but um, article test, we have one public article and two public comments. So these should both now fail because we haven't defined the method. And they do. So now we should be able to go into our visible concern here add class methods block consistent about our quote styling 
Actually, I'll, I'll make this empty first so that it fails without the errors. So they're both coming up nil because we haven't done anything. And now we go and add in the where clause there. And we're passing. So now we've got our, uh, we have the ability to um, add information about our um, our public count of our articles. We'll add that in and that has no no tag at all. I'll throw that in the paragraph. So we'll go to our article controller test, write our failing test for this. This is in index. Call it. public count and then we'll write our um, I'm going to make this, you can see here, we only have one public article. So I'm going to make this um, one article and counting. And we'll, we'll use one of the, the Rails active support concern items here to get this uh, working properly. So we'll now go in and in our index.html.erb, this is still going to fail. So this will now say our blog has one articles and counting, which we don't want. You can see our blog has one article and counting expected, but was our blog has one articles and counting. So it's not using the numeric agreement there with it. So the way that we can get that working is with the um, the pluralize helper. So we'll go in and here pluralize and then get rid of articles here. See where that gets us. And we're back to passing. So um, that Rails pluralize helper. If you just do pluralize, it will give you the uh, the number and then the um, the item. And if there are one of them, it will um, give you article. If there are two of them, um, then it will give you articles. So that um, helps us. Uh, and when you're doing something like this about content, you want to make sure that you test that kind of zero, one, and many um, sort of situation so that you um, you don't wind up with poor um, agreement with your numbers. So we've got that now working. We will continue on. So we're now going to take a look at both of our uh, our forms. 
and make that um, that change there. We'll add this to both our our show and our So let's take a look at the articles controller test. So we've got um, some options for um, for our form here, our form div. So this will increase the number of items we have in that form div for our. new and our edit. And if you're thinking that this is an opportunity for us to refactor our tests, you are correct. We will modify that and then there'll be now form P4 in show. These will both fail. Expected for actual three, so we'll go in and implement this in our articles form view. with the full label and div here. Oops. Come on. Okay. Let's stick with the So now we're just failing on our articles controller show. Let's take a look at our. So this will be in the the comment form partial now. Actually, that's the. Here, we want the form partial. So we'll add in our paragraph here. Use the same formatting we did here. back to passing. Let's take a look now at our so we can see we've got a status here. Um, and it shouldn't display when we do this. And we've got an error in comments create. So unknown attribute status for comment. So that is odd. Let me take a look at our tests here. So we have Um, 
performance controller test. We do have a status here in comments controller test that seems to work here. Did I forget to run my migrations? Go into the console. Got a status attribute there. That'll be invalid because we don't have a uh, an article ID. must exist. Might need, I'll just try. Restarting the server, which shouldn't matter. See, that worked. That Maybe I did need to restart the server. So let's make sure that that comment got created. Let's take a look at the so commit transaction. That seems to have worked. it has that status archived. It doesn't show up in our uh, list of things. You can see private works. So we're back in business there. So I, I think I just sometimes uh, when in doubt, restart your Rails server and see if that uh, causes things to um, to make things work. We're going to uh, to stop here in terms of the uh, the concern, and then before we well, we'll find out. Yeah, I will either before or after this deleting comment section. Uh, work on refactoring our tests. So I think I'll stick that into b between section nine and section ten here as um, as a an addendum to refactoring. That the guide doesn't do any testing at all. So we'll stop here. Take a look at our our status. The only new item we have is the visible module and then we got rid of um, included visible an article and got rid of the um, the status information there for both article and comment we added status to the articles form um, we added a, a pluralize about article um, public count to our um, our articles index, which did I, did I put that above the, the heading there?
Yes, I did. So let's move that. That's why we review before we commit. We've added to the uh, a status item to the form. We've got uh, new assertions in our uh, articles controller. We've got, uh, and then new tests for that public count, which we will refactor in our next video. Add everything. Write our commit message. All right, so we've got our commit message here. We will save that. Take a look at our status. Working directory is clean. Push to the remote. And then we'll pick up in the next video and start refactoring some of those repeated methods in our tests and um, try to similarly modularize what we're doing there. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.